Starches and sugars, yeah, it's a very, very good place to start. <clears throat> what happens uh, in heart disease is the blood is not flowing properly. It's not flowing adequately would be a good way to put it. And um, the medical profession is basically taught that that is, for a large extent in any event, uh, due to people eating too much fat. That the fat gets into the, uh, the cardiovascular system, doesn't get digested correctly, you have these globules of fat trying to move, and they're thick and they don't move correctly. Actually, that's not true. In, in essence, what happens is that if you want to make the blood uh, acutely during a, a quick period of time, if you want to make it flow not as well, you don't necessarily do that with high fats. You can do that much more easily with, as you asked, high starches such as potatoes, uh, corn chips, um, beans and grains are about 60 to 75 percent starch, or with sugars, which could be a candy bar, it could be a whole bunch of sugar in a, in a soda, um, <clears throat> could be the uh, sugar that's in a, a piece of raw, raw fruit, or especially the large amount of sugar that's in, let's say, a, a glass of apple juice or orange juice. Because what happens is the starches and the sugars, the body doesn't need all of that energy right now, because we change starches and sugars into uh, uh, into glucose so that the body can, so the brain can work correctly. But unless you're busy running a marathon while you're eating these foods, the body doesn't need that much. So we have a storage mechanism and the body fairly rapidly turns it into fats and your fat level, uh, predominantly your triglyceride level, goes way, way up and we have all these fats trying to get through the body and they're having a difficult time doing it. So when people eat a lot of starches and sugars, <laughs> which I would say is the major food source of the American public because the starches are potatoes, any kind of chips, uh, most beans and grains are mostly starch, a um, number of different vegetables, corn is also high starch, uh, and then all of the sugars, all of the fruit, all of the fruit juices, all the candies, all the cakes and cookies of course are both starches and sugars, so a very predominant portion of the public's food supply are the two foods that bring down their health.